Pakistan pre and post COVID. Um, how do you think things have changed? I know you have made some of your team members move from Karachi to Islamabad, which is not an easy change either. Uh, but how do you see the leadership lifestyle has changed, especially from a tech perspective uh, post COVID? There is one sub piece. So, uh, a very you know, uh, broad question and very right as for the uh, current situation. Um, if I just tell you from the tech perspective, and just summarize what we have discussed, like the physical distances has been changed to the virtual distance. Like it's no matter my tech provider or my support provider is sitting where in China, in US, in Japan, in Africa, we are like we are online connected with each other. So this is like the new norms which world was like just learning in a way, but that was you know like the slope of that you know adoption of that change become very high and exponentially you know it's just too high during the COVID time period, and the business norms has been changed. Even the project deliveries, uh, online education we have seen, so that has been changed. Uh, from our leadership, we see like we used to have an annual conference and then we are, you know, going to Amsterdam. We are seeing like mobile world conference is happening or we are going to China or Japan. Then we're, now it's all, you know, is the virtual thing that is happening. So we can see that the collaboration and and that has been become more close. Like we can give our, for, for the moments which we are waiting for a year to come or six months that those ideas or those concepts we are discussing on week weekly basis. So this is something where the industry is going. And it will go more abrupt way, I want to say, because now the middleman concept is going away. And that exactly what happening to that e-commerce thing as well, like to that exec who is actually producing, he is contacting to the direct who is, who is interesting of that. And middleman is now is the technology. So these virtual things, and even I, I can just, I will uh, just give you a brief things. Uh, we are talking about alone on this NBIOT and IOT stuff. So just to explain uh, in a known technical way, uh, ZTE, we have done the first IOT trial in Pakistan, and that was the Wabda power meter. So that Wabda power meter is the same meter, but then it's connected with the 2G or the 3G network, and then the billing, the load, each and everything you can monitor with the system. So you can see like all those meter readers, you don't need it. Like it's a system report every one month you will be generating it. And then you can see like in this, right now we don't know where actually, you know, that what the load theft is happening or. So then you just need to see from that, you know, report, okay, this area, actually I'm sending for example, 100 watt or 1000 watts and 80 percent is just being consumed. You can easily find out and same goes we, we can do with the tariff rates as well. So what we need to do is nothing. We just need to replace all the Wabda meter tradition one with the, you know, IOT base enable it and then we connect with the system. So this is, you know, something that, you know, the, 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 the world is going and uh, we, we are more close with the, our support backside and now more online education. Even we see the medicine, agriculture. Uh, telecommunication, uh, logistic support, even the branding thing, uh, even the tourism part. Uh, with ZT in Malaysia, uh, we have the one 5G thing and we have the virtual uh, tourism part. So you can imagine you have one gadget on the K2 top or at Hunza Valley and somewhere in the US who just want to experience what is the atmosphere however, they will just simply, you know, they will have one gadget and then they will, you know, Keep watching it and they have the live, you know, I'm going to say feeler of that. Absolutely. So this is Absolutely. something, you know, that will, you know, that's what my, you know, uh, CEO was earlier explaining as well. 46% is data growing above. And that is the need, like being in Pakistan, because we know from the telco, uh, the backbone is much required. Like you have provided the radio side. Yeah. So that fiber deployment and all the stuff that I think this forum is, is, is you know, is, is the right one to take that notes. Absolutely. So it's, it's all about thank like you, this. Thank you so much. And, I, and, and when you say the middleman has gone, I, I believe the middleman has changed probably. Yeah, I yeah. think that's, a, uh, that's, a, that's another challenge. I